be there. Put that in here. Just smell all this. Smell good. Yeah. Welcome to another video. So guys, guess what I'm going? So today I'm making some pumpkin soup. It's Saturday, and any traditional Jamaican knows say that Saturday also well, people make soup, whether red peas or pumpkin. And today I'm gonna make some pumpkin soup, chicken foot, chicken neck, and some chicken. So guys, listen. Comment down below how you make your soup. While me, I show you how me make my soup. Yes, see me. So as me say, pumpkin soup I do it today. Saturday also. I'm gonna show you guys everything my middle from start to finish. So guys, may I get the meat ready? Usually when I do the chicken in there, I normally use the breast. But I run out of chicken breast. I mostly tie it in the fridge. So I must have working with it in the, in the fridge. So chicken part, I use it just to tie it. All right guys, so when me make my soup, clean up my chicken them. I make them first thing. Yeah, while well, I put on the water, let me clean up before, and of course, you have to add your vinegar. Make sure you say no around is there any meat, and then you make them clean up properly. So, those are the meats that's going in. So, guys, so these are some of what's gonna be in my soup. I get some nice piece of pumpkin here, some cho cho, skeleton, and thyme. Irish and carrot and definitely my yam. I did kind of want piece of um breadfruit in there, but I don't think I'm gonna get no breadfruit. I'm gonna make somebody go see if they can get one off of the tree out there, so and come back. But these are what I'm gonna use. Yes, yeah, so, you know, a pumpkin soup, so we can't afford the pumpkin. So we get a nice piece of pumpkin today, pretty nice. So I'm gonna cut out that pumpkin right now and put it in a pot with the chicken and make it go and cook. So, you know, I want the color. So guys, I get the breadfruit. As me day I talk with the breadfruit, I breadfruit that me see I come. So I get the breadfruit. I'm excited about the breadfruit because I love breadfruit in my soup. So I go and celebrate this so with the pumpkin. So I about to cut it up and put it in another pot. So guys, right now in other part, I have my meat them and I have my pumpkin. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up all of the carrot them, put them aside so I don't have to worry about that later on. Carrot and the Irish and put those aside, knead up some flour and peel the breadfruit. So I make the pumpkin one cook with the meat and one do the thing and then I just take my time and address the ingredients them in my soup. But I run out of gloves, you know, so I think it kind of has taken up my hand. You know, I don't have that experience with Chocho. I really, really like feeling something, but it's nice in a soup. 
Oh, that's the only time you use this. Guys, let me know. Comment down below and let me know if you're going to use chocho other than put it in soup or just boil it and eat it. Let me know if you don't have, if you don't do any little thing with it. If you don't have a recipe, you can share with me. I'm going to use you know, chocho and do. So guys, we get some lovely scotch bonnet pepper. I love have scotch bonnet. Sometimes I store them in the freezer. I have them for a long time. So these are what I get. So I'm going to put up all of these now for the soup. Save a piece of the pumpkin. Put that and put all of it in the pot just yet. I save a piece. And now I like the soft piece to put in when I'm putting the carrot and stuff. I'm going to check, check for the soup now because I think the pumpkin cook right now. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to check for it. Guys, yeah, look at it. See how the color change? Look at the color of the water. Ooh. Yes. Alright. So I'm going to add some more stuff to this now.
tell us right now. So bread fruit in there, I am in there. So let this come to a boil and then I go add pretty much everything else in it. Make everything cook. One go down. They say Yeah. So guys, right now I'm gonna put in flour in the pot and just make all of that come to a boil as myself. And then I'm gonna add all of the little vegetables in another pot. Yes guys, so I'm gonna choose spinners and stuff. I don't know how I want to make food of flour in my body. So we make my flour. And we roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. So we can do it. But some people like to eat now we are so and we can we can do it. So you go and make my flour. Then we do it like this, you know. So we just take the time and run it up. Run it up. Run it up, run it up. And then we press that little bit. See then. So you make mine. Let me know make <laughs> food of flour. We think we kinda of find it weird just because Miss some people are making and they make it so squishy and nice and I said why I can't even make it all the older man make it. You know? You can't do it so I put the whole of the finger then there, put it in, in, in there, in there, in there, in there, you know? And then in roll it up. Roll it up. Roll it up. Get it neat, see, run, you run up in neat, see, you see, get neat, and then you just take this and this, see, and this woman really love flour, me, I really love flour, try not me alone drink that soup, okay, so when me alone drink it, I'm not put no flour in there, <laughs> but when me alone drink it, so I have to put flour in there, I pick them to see what I'm going to put on, yeah, and girl, I want to make sure I have to make sure it's safe, because you get him food and good food too. Yeah. Watch it now. Watch it. See the pot are going good. <laughs> oh, wow. Pot are going good. Yes, see, pray. Yeah, man. Love how it all look, you know? Me like when my food them cut up fine. My person him don't like it, so he want them big stuff. So, the big one they have to him. And the spinach them me eat probably one or two. Anything I see big, I feel him them because you know, like they could find something they like how me would I like it cut up fine. I mean, things are so everything will just cut up fine, fine, fine. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna add the little vegetable and now to the soup. Add in everything. I'm gonna tell them so everything I'm going on, you know, everything. When me I make soup, I like left one little bit of piece of the pumpkin when I pumpkin soup. So I can put in at this point when I add the vegetable then. Then pretty it on. Yeah man, that's so super pretty and festive. Yes guys, so guys remember to like, subscribe and share this video. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to soup one. Come to a boil now. Yes, people. Alright guys, so I'm going to add my skeleton on time to the soup. I'm going to change the pot guys because the pot is too full. So now I'm going to add my, um, guys, I'm going to add my cock soup and I'm going to mix it out and strain it because the noodle I'm going to eat tend to burn the soup. I'm going to like when my soup tastes burn. Alright guys, so this is how me do it. I mix it out and then I'm going to strain it because the noodle here when I come in and eat this, go down and I pop my thumb and sit and burn. So to avoid that, this is how I do it. Alright, 
I come and go in all let me know how you put your noodle in there. So the first open and try it in there. I already see everything when I do strain it. See the guys, the strain out So maybe I'm gonna use them partly because you see that we run up your soup guys. So I strain out it and put it in the pot. Show them the pot and all see there. Make sure that in here you smell all this. Smell good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is what ready now guys. I'm gonna share it out. Alright guys, dinner is served. Soup for dinner. Soup, soup, soup. Mm -hmm.